Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I am explaining an interesting topic, bicornuate uterus. Many of you would have been familiar with this term already. If you haven't heard this term, I am explaining about this in this video. Let's get into the video. So before understanding the term bicornuate uterus, first let us understand what is a normal uterus briefly. And this is the normal uterus. It looks pear shaped and there is no indentation at the level of fundus of the uterus. But why this bicornuate uterus occurs? To say it is a congenital uterine abnormality or it is a congenital uterine malformation and to say specifically it is caused because of a Mullerian duct anomaly. So congenitally there must be a fusion of Mullerian duct but whenever there is an impairment in the fusion of Mullerian duct it fails to fuse completely and only there is a partial fusion of Mullerian duct which results in an indentation at the level of fundus of the uterus making the uterus look like heart shaped and that's called as the bicornuate uterus. And we have two types of bicornuate uterus. It may be either partial or it may be either complete and partial bicornuate uterus in the sense the indentation will be confined only to the level of fundus of the uterus. But when the septal indentation extends up to the level of external loss or internal loss of the cervix, we'll call it as a complete bicornuate uterus. And this a complete bicornuate uterus is again of two types, uterus bicornis unicollis, uterus bicornis bicollis. Uterus bicornis bicollis in the sense there is a two uterine cavity with two cervix and there may be a vaginal septum or there may not be a vaginal septum. Here there is no vaginal septum but there may be a vaginal septum. Uterus bicornis unicollis in the sense there is two uterine cavity with a single cervix and the two uterine cavity may be equal or as it is shown in the picture one may be rudimentary and it may not be communicating with the one which has been developed so we saw about a bicornuate uterus it is of two types it may be either partial or complete if it is complete it may be a uterus bicornis bicollis or uterus bicornis unicollis thank you so much for watching